Hey, this is Prometheus giving you an offensive tip. This is going to be out of the Dallas Cowboys playbook. Um, I'm assuming this play will probably be rolling into Madden 17, and this might be a strategy you might want to lab immediately in Madden 17. Uh, this is a strong formation, one of the most popular formations in the game has been for the last few years, uh, and the primary reason is because the strong has the quick toss, which has been a devastating run. Uh, it has been a run that uh, people really have to, to make an effort to consciously stop, especially if you've got a speedy running back. Well, what's great, great about this Cowboys playbook is because of the audibles that it comes with. It comes with a halfback dive, so you can go ahead and hit your opponent up top. Also, a wide receiver out, meaning you have a speed out or a quick out with the outside wide receiver on the left-hand side. Uh, so basically, you've got yourself a built-in running scheme and passing scheme. Then it comes with flank or drive, and then play action scissors, where you can actually uh, you can attack your opponent off to the right and to the left with, with these combinations. Now, uh, as I was labbing this book, uh, just to go ahead and see if I can find some additional plays, I found a gem of a play uh, that I want to show show you which is this play right here I've got highlighted red the Cowboys Y option oh my lord this play is freaking awesome and if you throw this in with the running scheme of the pitch and the dive and the wide receiver out you're gonna be just annihilating your opponent and he's gonna have a hard time stopping it so let me go ahead and break this play down to you this is a phenomenal play if you run a run the Cowboys playbook I recommend using this play if you haven't do that haven't done so already or putting in your custom playbook if you play you have a custom playbook uh, or if you were considering doing Cowboys you definitely want to use this this play now, I came out and random defenses so I I just want to go ahead and show you my easy easy progressions now one of the things I want to do is I want to go ahead and make sure I can stretch the field and give myself an option down the field uh, against my opponent but really what I would be focusing on is my wide receiver over here Williams uh, that's doing that little um, post corner flat route it's a very unique route it gets it gets really unique separation now the key to this pick of the route is you're basically going to wait and see if the defenders are actually going to be falling back into zones and I'll show that to you in instant replay now what's great about it is that it is an easy read it gets good separation against uh, against the zone defenders and man defenders and you can actually pick up a good seven or eight yards with that uh, route by Williams but it's complemented by uh, an angle route by the running back that you can dump down if the defenders float up and then obviously you've got a deep post over top that you can hit uh, if your opponent starts cheating down the safety so let's just go ahead and run this once I've got defenders that actually fall in the area, and I can go ahead and chuck it down and pick up an easy five yards with the running. All right, so the key to this play is really watching these defenders and see if they take away this route right here. This route is the one I'm actually looking at. And as you can see, these defenders actually float up, and they actually bracket this guy. So I know that if I throw the ball to this guy, uh, he's going to be having defenders in his face. Now, because of the, his route that he runs, you can get away with a good 70% uh, of those throws and still get separation, still catch the ball, especially if you get got an elite wide receiver on the side. Uh, because you can see he gets inside position, and, and then usually I'm going to be throwing the ball right about right here before his break. So he'll be able to go ahead and catch that ball in front of a defender. But the smart read is not to do that, it's actually waiting for the play to develop. So my next read is to go to the running back underneath because he's going to do a little angle route. Um, and he's actually an easy, easy reception underneath to be able to pick up the yards because this wide receiver is actually stretching the defense uh, vertically. And then finally, on the back end, uh, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and watch Bryant. As you can see right here, because I got rid of the ball so quickly, these defenders came down. But uh, as you can see right here, he's going to be basically one on one against the safety, and he should be able to beat that on a, on a, on a deep pop post. So this time I've got stretched out defenders, uh, basically to go ahead and streak up my tight end to give myself a little bit more depth. And right here, as you can see, man coverage, just easy reception. You just do a down, load, uh, down pass load lead and you'll get uh, easy reception. My key is right here on this defender. And if, my, if these linebackers take a bite down for whatever particular reason, I'm gonna just go ahead and rifle that ball immediately to this, run, to this wide receiver because he's gonna get an easy 10 yards right there. Look, I've got 15 yards on a fast pass that really is not gonna give my opponent any time to go ahead and uh, to, uh, to defend. So that's what's really great about this route right here. So I've got another spread out defense right here. It is man coverage and you can just get that easy reception with that uh, quick little post corner flat. 
So now I've got a defender that actually floats underneath and I can just go ahead and dump it down to the running back. So that's what's so great about it is that I'm just looking for that fast read and I'm making a fast decision of getting rid of the ball. And playing Madden 17, you need to be able to make fast reads because they're gonna they're designing the game to penalize people to hold onto the ball, which is kind of like the real life with the NFL. You're not gonna you're not gonna get the animation where you actually throw the ball away. So that's why it's key to get rid of the ball in Madden 17. You're gonna be more successful if you can make fast progressions. And then the final thing that you could hit is that deep post route. I could have probably let that post route develop a little bit more, but if your opponent really starts focusing down um, on this uh, little post corner flat route uh, by the number two wide receiver, he's just going to have a hard time stopping it. So that's what I do like about this particular play is just it provides so many fast options so you can get rid of the ball. So I hope you like this. If you do use the Cowboys playbook, please let me know if you utilize this play. I haven't seen this broken down and really be, be frank with you, I haven't really searched to see if people use it, but uh, this is a really good play. I'm going to be using it um, in my draft championship with the, with the, uh, the Cowboys playbook. Um, I'm also going to be rolling out uh, a couple other money plays uh, from, from the Cowboys playbook that, that I have uh, some shotgun schemes that I'm going to go ahead and implement uh, into my gameplay. So to all my subscribers, please comment. I really appreciate that. Please hit the like button if you like this tip, if you, if you think this, this play will help you um, in your scheme.